Sing a Chinese night. Thought we should come gather around. Put some holiness on here. Mommy can buy out mommy. First of all, let's hear it up for the Holy Romare over here. Smashing away over there. I want to see some bloody fingers there. Before we get to the, uh, the home in Chinese business. Bezrat Hashem, Bezrat Hashem. Either this week, next week, or after this I'm going to be releasing some music to the world. Very soon, very soon now. The world uh, doesn't know what's about to hit them. Thank you. 
Somebody told me this, and I believe it's true. It was a big, big tzaddik in Saudi Arabia, nobody knew. I mean, people knew that it was a big tzaddik in Saudi Arabia, but nobody knew like to the extent, I don't think, at least. His name was Aaron Leif Steinman, the Holy Rosh Steinman. And somebody told me that there was a, there was a, a, a Jew who, who, uh, who was off the derrick, he had home sign. He wasn't keeping Shabbos anymore. He was, he had enough. And he lived in B'nai Bra. You can imagine, you understand? He ran away from B'nai Rock, he's hanging around the streets. And, uh, and he's, he's, he's about to unfortunately get married to some of the other breed. And, and his father calls him up and says, listen, before you, before you get married and before you completely throw yourself out of this whole thing, and before you completely cut yourself off of this whole thing, just come for one shot. Ah, one shot. So he comes for one shot. He says, fine. Come for one job, but you know that I'm not going to keep anything. So the boss says, I don't care, don't keep anything, do whatever you want in front of me, just come for one job. At least we'll see you one last time. Now we'll go on. Kid comes to Shabbos, he's smoking in front of the father in the house on Shabbos. He's on, he's on the phone, he's on the phone, he's doing whatever he needs to do. 
He's not showing any any bit of Yiddishkeit. Anyway, Shabbos goes on, comes Mincha time. Father goes over to the kid and says, you know, I go to a shear by Rabbi Steinman right before Mincha, you want to come? So he's expecting a kid to laugh in his face. The kid says, you know what, I'll come. They go to the shear. They line up afterwards to say, Shalom Aleichem to the Holy Tzadik. Lining up, and it comes one person after another person after another person. Finally, it comes to this person. Our lady says, What's your name? He says, So and so. He said, Did you ever think, again, nobody said anything to the Tzadik. He said, Did you ever think about doing Jewish? So the kid said, Yeah, I thought about it. So our lady said, Tell me for exactly how many minutes you thought about doing Jewish. So he said, For about Four times I thought about Shuvah, each time was for about 10 minutes. The kid knew exactly. So Ravarale looked at him and says, you're a 40-minute Baal Shuvah. Give me a bracha. The Matam Shabbalai Shuvah, I even think, even the Tzadik of Gemurah can be there. So you're a 40-minute Baal Shuvah, give me a bracha. Needless to say, this story sparked. A little spark in this holy is Neshama. And he slowly made his way back. He broke up whatever relationships he had. They came completely back to Yiddishkeit. This is not the point of the Maisa. After he was broke, he already moved on. He was in yeshiva, he was learning, he was going to get married. His father goes up to him and says, Can I ask you one question? Remember, remember when I invited you for that last Shabbos when you were about to throw the whole thing? He so said, Yeah. He's like, Can I ask you something? Why on earth did you come with me to the shit? You weren't, you weren't interested in that. Why would you say yes? The kid said, I'll tell you, I never told anybody. When I was in first grade, the Rebbe in B'nai Brak took the whole class to the Tzadik of our Lady to, for him to ask questions on what we were learning. And everybody answered questions, got a candy. Until it came my turn. He asked me a question, I didn't know it. He made it even easier, didn't know it. He asked me an even easier question, didn't know it. Everybody left, I was devastated. I was the only one who didn't get a candy. All the kids went out, and Marlon Lady quickly called me back as a kid, it's coming. Says, let me reveal to you something that not many people know. In Yiddishkeit, we don't care about results. We care about trying. Here's three candies. You try three times. So he said, but the Holy Sabbath, my last job, he said, let's go to the rabbi one more time. I said, I have to go to the rabbi. In Yiddishkeit, we don't care about results. You guys have Rebbe here that I'm a Chazgir, it's unbelievable. Chazgir in the deepest way is unfortunately some people just think like that. It's about results. The key is to remember no matter where you're holding life, ain't Shem Yish Ba'olam. Before we get to the Chinese, it's a little bit serious mode right now. We can't just like crash in, you have to like water it down a little bit. So we have to go a little bit like a Thank you. 
that mean? Can you please tell me? Mom, she won't believe it. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, diaper rash commercial. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, diaper rash. Diaper rash, wipe my wife, yeah. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I was sitting by the shopping table, and I was holding up, and I was sitting in a diaper rash. <laughs> so I was sitting in a diaper rash. Wow, mama. So I had to come up with a new one, quick. I told him to mean something about something. <laughs> so I made up my own. Connected, connected to the Holy Tzaddik and Gabal. We changed it to Woyal Chu Uma. Woyal Chu Cover, you're supposed to write a story for, for every song. So there is a story, believe it or not. The Ani Litvak song that we sang before, there's a shul in Queens called Kesetoyre. Wow, look at it. See every type of Jew in the world. I saw one Jew who was wearing an up hat and a, and a rackle. I thought it was spread out of Williamsburg. And then he moved his hat and I saw a, a Srugi over there with the with Israeli flag around it. And then he was holding a Svarty sitter with the Hacham on the picture on the front. This guy was mom's the deep year I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he started singing, Gada, Gada, Shmei Rabba. I was shocked. He said, Reva, Vassala, the whole thing. You never know what you're going to find. So after I walked out of that mincha, it was a gewalt mincha. Because there's all different types of Jews. So that's when I came at Ani Litma. The Bore Prayer H is a whole different Misa. <laughs> but there's, a, there's a, a song I wrote. It's very deep. I played it for Avi Rottenberg, and his mom loved it. And uh, it's called Sheva Yipol Tzadr. I don't know if I can write this mice like I sinned and I the truth. You can't write this on the cover. <laughs> it goes like this. You know, it was like when Sumaya came to Farakway. He, he, he's always holding like five months ahead. It's unbelievable. He came to talk about Rosh Hashanah. He's like, oh, I got for Rosh Hashanah. We didn't even have a chance to But somehow, we're already in the avoid of Hachan Lamei El, the Holy El of Gavah. I plan to release this one, Amrish Kaddish Allah. Sheva Yipoy, Yipoy, Tzadik, Tzabavadik, Vekar, Oh, 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 Sheva Yipoy, Yipoy, Tzadik, Tzabavadik, Vekar, Just 
start over again Cause we know ancient years But all I'm proud No, it's never too late To correct your mistake Cause we know ancient years But all I'm proud No, it's never Start over again Cause we know Ain't shum yeosh Ba'olam Sheva yipol yipol Tzadik tzadik Bekoh Oh boy Oh boy Bekoh Sheva yipol Oh, my God. 